right, so check it out. I'm super excited that the NPC now finally has side chain ducking. So I wanted to do this quick tutorial to get you guys up and running with the mother ducker because it might be a little confusing if you've never used it because you have to assign the input to what instruments you want to make the ducking happen and then assign it to the other instrument that you want ducked. All right, so to give you a for instance, I have this four bar chord melody. All right, and I have my drums. Really, really simple here. So what I want to do is side chain duck off that kick drum and have it duck the rows. Ducking meaning every time the kick hits, it's going to get significantly lower in volume on that rose loop from my kick drum. So the first thing we have to do is assign the mother ducker input off the instrument we want to duck it from. In this case, this kick drum. All right, so what you want to do is you want to go into your pad mixer first. So let's go to menu in the pad mixer. All right, I'm gonna find my kick, tap it, and under inserts, this is where you find your mother ducker, Akai internal effects. So go here to Akai profession now, and let's find the mother ducker input. So what we want to do is input, select it. So now it is assigned to that kick drum. You're not going to hear anything yet though. We have to do the second part, which is assign it to that Rhodes loop. So let me go to my other track where the Rhodes loop is and you hit the little I here and I'm going to go to the program section, go to inserts. And from here, I'm going to find the mother ducker. And this time I'm just going to use the regular mother ducker, not mother ducker input, just regular mother ducker. So now if I press play, you'll hear every time the kick hits, the volume will duck. without it and with it so you could hear it happening what I want to do is I want to go in there and make the ducking more noticeable so what I could do is either double click here on mother ducker or I could just hit the little pencil here and that's gonna bring up the GUI of the mother ducker and we got this little duck here with an Akai hat and you have your different parameters here so you'll see as I adjust my ratio it'll start ducking it even harder adjust my release so it's almost no release and as you get higher up in your milliseconds that ducking is going to be a little bit later. And that's pretty extreme, but I like it. So as you can see, you could really make your samples sound wavy with this technique. But this is not the only use for it. You know, throw this on your bass line off your kick drum and you'll create a lot more room in your mix. Really useful feature. I'm loving it. I mean, this is something I've wanted for a while and it works pretty good. It's pretty intuitive as long as you know that the input is going to go on the instrument that you want to make the ducking happen. And the regular mother ducker is going to go on whatever you want to get ducked. Yeah.